welcome to Beyong RV in Milwaukee, Oregon. Here we have a 299 BHSL Kodiak Express. New floor plan that we just got. Some of the things that come on this particular coach, you have two 20 pound LP bottles right here in the front with the automatic changeover. So if you run out of one tank, it automatically goes to the second tank. You don't ever have to come outside and actually switch it over yourself. Dutchman did a really great thing for you guys with this Kodiak Express. If you take a look right here, you might notice the diamond plate right here on the front. When it's trailing behind your truck, you're gonna keep from getting all those rock chips and scratches, everything like that right there on the front. They're really helping you out with that. If you take a look over here, you're gonna notice the Kodiak Bear Cave. It's their front passenger storage. It's 30% larger than all other manufacturers in the ultralight travel trailers that means for you is you get to take everything with you when you go camping as opposed to kind of well just half the stuff if you notice right here you have the aluminum cage construction it's going to be much more rigid and better stability than a lot of your other manufacturers out there this kind of aluminum construction still keeps it light enough to where you can still pull it with a half ton truck and it is an ultralight here we have our stabilizer jacks, both front and rear. What's that, what that's gonna do for you is when you're camping and those are down, you're not gonna get a lot of that rocking motion. You're gonna be planted straight towards the ground. Dutchman uses the frameless windows and 90% UV protection with a, a s extremely dark tint. Very easy for you to see out, extremely hard for people to see in. If you notice how hard that sounds, you have five-sided laminated bonded walls all the way around in this coach. This is a carefree electric one-touch power awning. Push of a button goes all the way out. Simple push of the same button goes all the way in. Up top, you have your marine grade outside speakers. Now imagine this. You guys are actually out there camping. You've got your awning out. You've got your marine grade speakers out there blasting whatever great type of music you want to listen to. Would you look at the size of this outdoor kitchen? Come standard with your refrigerator. You've got your stainless steel bull sink with an adjustable faucet. And a built-in two burner range top. And I know what you're probably thinking. Well, what about the barbecue? Don't worry, they thought about you. Right here, you've got your LP quick disconnect that runs direct from your two 20 pound bottles up front. You set your barbecue out here. You've got this that works as a built-in awning. And you guys are out here living life. This is a cool kitchen. So if you notice on this side, everything's put into one little central location. You've got your 30 amp supply right here. You've got your satellite hookup right here and your city water connection. One really cool thing that Dutchman did with the Kodiak on your 30 amp supply for shore power, you got a little green light right here. If that light is green when you're plugged into power and something is not working inside of your coach, you can automatically rule that out. It's time to move to the fuse box. You usually only get quality like that in some of the big motor homes and fifth wheel trailers. If you notice right here, those are actually bonded walls on the side walls of your slides. Now, let's go take a look at the inside. If you notice one of the cool things about this, the second you walk in directly to your left is your kitchen. Look at all this counter space. I don't even have enough stuff to cover that thing up. Right here in our double-sided sink, we have our high-rise gooseneck faucet. You can still put a big pot in there, fill it up with water. You're making spaghetti when you're camping. Right here, we've got our three burner range top still with an oven and microwave. You've got your Norcold refrigerator, 6.3 cubic feet, and you've got your freezer up here. Now the great thing about this is it runs off gas and electric. And look at the size of this pantry. Not only is it a huge pantry, but all of the doors are made out of hardwood. You don't get any of the vinyl wrap wood in here. And more storage. The size of this pantry is absolutely huge. 
All the drawers in here are made out of hardwood as well, and they come with all of your ball bearing drawer glides. So it makes it for nice, smooth opening and closing, and they extend all the way out, so you can reach to the back of that drawer without having to go like that. Right around the corner right here, you've got your main control panel for your whole entire coach. You can check your battery levels, your tank levels, turn your water heater on, your water pump, all your lights. You've got your slide controls right here and your awning retract and extend button right here. You've got your DVD, CD, AM, FM, as well as 3.5 millimeter audio jack so you can play all that music from your phone direct to the speakers in here and your marine grade speakers on the outside. Right here we've got our LCD TV mounting bracket which is already pre-wired waiting for you to pick out that perfect television and put it in here ready for you to watch. In here we've got our walk around queen bed with tons of storage space for your clothes. Storage underneath the bed as well. Storage up top for whatever else that you could think about putting in there. We've got a full walk around queen size bed. You notice you have an entry on both sides of the bedroom. Makes it easy to make the bed no matter which side you're on. So right here you notice we've got our main control panel for our heat and our air conditioner. You've got a 30,000 BTU furnace which blows heat straight out of all the ducts on the floor as well as a direct duct going down into your heated and enclosed underbelly keeping all your tanks from freezing as well as a 13,500 BTU air conditioner that is mounted on the roof. Here in the bathroom, first thing you're going to notice is how much room you actually have. You've got a door going from outside straight in here. Kids no longer have to run directly through your kitchen and living area. They just walk directly into the bathroom. In the bathroom, you've got your quick flush toilet, shower bath combo with the skylight directly above for a little bit of natural lighting, vanity mirror right here with the medicine cabinet, and some good sized storage directly underneath your sink as well. Right here, we've got our big U-shaped dinette easily fit five, six people in there, enjoy a nice family breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whatever time of day it is for you guys. And at nighttime, you drop down the table, turns into a bed. Right here on our couch, we've got our jackknife sofa, turns that into a bed as well. It's extremely easy to put down and very easy to put right back up. Great spot for the kiddos. Right here, we've got our bunkhouse. You've got a LCD TV mounting bracket right here for the kids. If it is a little rainy out there, they don't want to go play. They can always stay in here and kind of do whatever they want. You've got your huge dresser drawers right here for all of their clothes, as well as a good sized closet for all their jackets. If you take a look over here, you're going to notice you've got your kind of your lounging area for the kids when they're in here playing also folds into a bed and you've got your top bunk that comes down into a bed as well so you've got one two three beds in the bunkhouse you've got your dinette that folds down into a bed your jackknife sofa in the living area that folds down into a bed as well as your queen bed up front so again here at B Young RV we've got hundreds of different models here to look at if you need directions, we're 2.5 miles north off of uh, 205 on McLaughlin in Milwaukee. I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon and I look forward to hearing from you.